I'm calling in a couple of hard pipe hitting critters to go to work on the homes here with a pair of pliers and a blowtorch. You hear me talking there, goblin boy? I ain't through with you by a dang sight. I'm gonna get D and D on your ass. <laughs> Hi everybody! Hey everybody! We're back, uh, and we are talking today about a new. Does this count as a pipe hitting critter? Yeah, he was like a pipe hitting critter, and then, because Ben and I love goblins. I mean, we love them, and we always try to throw them in somewhere. Yeah, and I think Ben, you came up with this idea. It might have been our friend Greg. Yes, Greg came. Greg yeah. mentioned something. Yeah. Because he was talking And then you about, went off on it. Yeah, so... And you pulled up all the pictures on your phone, like, immediately. Yeah. So on the website, you know, on the Badass of the Week website, we do, um, you know, one of the more popular characters was Wojtek the Soldier Bear, which was a, a brown bear that the Polish Artillery Corps found in Syria. And then the bear ended up traveling with them throughout World War II. It was like loading artillery shells at the Battle of Monte Cassino. Yeah. Uh, it's a very fun, very... I got to draw that bear. Yeah, you drew the bear for the, for the first Badass mm -hmm. book. And uh, so that was just kind of a very fun thing that popped up. And we were talking about that. And then we got to talking about the Polish Hussars, the Winged Hussars, who are also a very popular uh, article on the website. And it's you know, these mounted Polish cavalry, and they would wear these wings behind them. Mm -hmm. And when they would charge, uh, you know, the Polish cavalry was some of the most feared cavalry in Europe. Yeah. And when they would charge, the feathers of the um, of the wings would whistle, and so it made a noise that was, like, unlike anything else in, in Europe. So um, very cool, but we were talking about it, and you were like, I think Greg was like, well, what about a winged hussar riding on a bear? Yes. And then we were like, we can we could do that as a goblin, yeah. With a bear cub, <laughs> yes, as a goblin who's riding on like a little black bear, yeah, or brown bear or something yeah. like that. The bears aren't gi super gigantic, but they're goblin proportion bears. Yes, <laughs> yes. And so, uh, so Brian went home and and sketched it immediately. <laughs> yes, I had to do this right away. And um, also, again, I did this sketch um, uh, for my art class, which was called Fantasy and Science Fiction World Building. And um, so it's not recorded, but I will record painting this thing. Yes. And But, uh, Greg, here is the sketch. Um, here's like a rough version here. And then I cleaned them up, and this is kind of the finish. We'll, we'll throw both of them up on the yeah. screen. Yeah. So we got the rough here. Mm-hmm. And then we got the finish here. Yeah. And then I'll paint these up sometime in the next week or so. That's very cool. I should start on it today is really what I should do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah, he's going to be awesome. a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so these could also be um, uh, people you could hire or characters you could hire, um, like mercenary soldiers, or things that your characters have to fight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where you're in, like, the Goblin Kingdom and these are, You're, like, the you're in the Guard. Goblin Kingdom and you're in trouble. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love it because the bear is probably more dangerous than the dude riding it. Absolutely. But yeah, this is great. I love it. Yeah, We're but gonna... he's got a full he's got a full armored suit. He's got a uh, um, a saber, and he's got a uh, a lance. And so he's pretty formidable. And he's got the bear. And he's got the bear. And the bear could just like chuck the rider and be even more dangerous. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, I love it. I can't wait to see how it comes out. I feel like we're gonna put him on a coffee cup. Yeah, he's going on a coffee. Well, we're going to have a series of coffee cup goblins. Yes. Yes. <laughs> if we can get four done by, by Christmas, we could do it as like a... <laughs> a, a Christmas series. A pack. Yeah. Nothing says the birth of Jesus like <laughs> armored goblins. <laughs> armored goblins. we got the gladiator yeah. one. we got the winged hussar one. we got to think like... of two more. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Might be our next series. <laughs> <laughs> armored goblins. All right. Well, you guys are going to love this. This is a lot of fun. We, we just had a blast coming up with this idea, and I can't wait to paint it, and uh, can't wait for you guys to see it. Yeah, so we'll be back in a little bit with the, with the painting. We'll be back. Okay, bye-bye. Hi, everybody. We're back. Hey, welcome back to the show. We are here, and we're talking about uh, the... The Goblin the Winged Hussar. Yes. 
Now, whose idea was that? Yours or Greg's? This was because it wasn't mine. It was a combo deal mm. where we were hanging out on my roof and we were talking about again. Yeah, and we were talking about the winged hussars, and then you were like. We should do them as, we should do like a goblin winged hussar. Yeah, and then somebody came up with the idea. I think that was Greg who was like, he should be riding on the, the bear, the Polish yes. bear. So yes. uh, I think we talked about it in the first half, but the winged hussars were like, you know, a very cool Polish cavalry unit, medieval. Um, and, uh, and then there was a story in World War II that I wrote about in the first badass book, and Brian drew the picture for it. Uh, of a, a bear that fought in the artillery with the Polish Second Corps uh, in World War II. Like this bear, they found him in like the uh, in the the deserts of Syria, and brought the bear with them. And then they trained him to like carry artillery shells and stuff. And then he was fighting at the Battle of Monte Cassino in Italy with the uh, the Polish artillery. And so we've combined a bunch of Polish history mm -hmm. and uh, and and D and D stuff. And so we have some cool stuff to show you. Yes. So now, Ben, here was the sketch, which I, th I think we showed it last time, but I can't remember. So here's the sketch mm -hmm. we started with. And then we have the finish. Yes. He turned out real fun. Here we go, Ben. Show everybody. All right. Here he is. Yes. The winged hussar. Mm -hmm. He is really cool. Yeah. Everybody really likes him. Yeah. We've seen him so far. Yeah. He's really awesome. And um, in for, everyone knows I'm a first edition weirdo. I guess I don't have to keep saying that. But we do have new listeners all the time. And um, so there are rules for bears in first edition D&D. I think three or four different kinds. Uh, each one, you know, bigger, stronger than the other one. Uh, they do have three attacks, which is claw, claw, bite. Yep. And um, so incorporate that in, into this. And also my idea was that um, since they're charging with the spear, they would have some kind of plus to attack and damage during the initial charge. Yeah, yeah, the mm -hmm. big charge. And maybe even like an intimidation thing if you can get a bunch of them riding together. Cause yeah. What they said with the Polish hussars was that the, the wings that they wore on their backs were um, like an intimidation thing as well because they it would make a noise, like the feathers would like flat in the... Um, in the like breeze when they were charging sound or something yeah it made a weird noise that was like unsettling and so uh there could be something like that like when you get a bunch of these guys together and they charge so one thing i liked about this is that the uh the bear is goblin sized yeah i made him i made him a brown bear which are the smallest kind of bears that we have in north america apparently there's some russian bears that are a little bit smaller than that somewhere hmm. and i thought um you know the bigger the goblin the bigger the bear or vice versa. So I made him uh, little brown bears. Yeah, and then you play tested this. I did. I play tested <laughs> it. We are going through the series of uh, A modules. So we're on the second one. It's the one after Slave Pits of the Undercity. And there is a group of goblins that are riding wargs. And I thought, nah, we're going to get rid of that. We're going to put my goblin hussars in there and play test it. And people loved it. Well, they loved it up until the point they started getting hit. And then yeah. they were too happy about it. I thought it was great until the bear the bear is more powerful than the warg, I imagine, and the bear is probably more talented at melee combat than the yes. goblin is. Yes. <laughs> and then what the goblins did is they charged him with the spears and then the, the, they dropped the spears and then they pulled out their sabers for close combat. Yeah. That makes so sense. the goblin got an attack and the bear got three attacks. So it's four attacks for each little group there. And they were getting pretty overwhelmed. There was a couple guys in bad shape after the end of that little encounter. <laughs> Nobody died, but a couple of close calls. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that's pretty awesome. Yeah, so I was thinking for these guys, like, just based on the skill level requirement for riding a bear and probably the rarity of the bears and the type of armor that they're wearing and everything, these guys would be pretty elite goblins mm -hmm. yeah as much as you can get that probably like royal guards yes. or um you know kind of the 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 toughest of the of the goblin guys mm -hmm. um, yeah escorts for some diplomat or something maybe yeah. even mercenaries you could hire out yeah that'd be cool mm -hmm. um and uh yeah just the company of these guys you to like <laughs> pay them money to cause a distraction for you <laughs> uh 
And yeah, so I was thinking they'd probably have levels in like a fighter、mm. or, or maybe, you know, something along those That's lines. That's something I never thought of. That's a good idea, Ben. Yeah, they could be almost like, you know, second or third level fighters、mm-hmm. in addition to being the goblins. Yes.、Um, and then you could have like officers even,、mm-hmm. you know, who would be a little bit bigger and stronger and more powerful. Maybe even a hobgoblin officer. Yeah. You know, or a bugbear. Yeah.、Mm-hmm. Riding like a, a real sized bear. Because these would be smaller bears, which kind of makes sense because the goblins, they live in these like really confined areas and they don't eat well.、Mm-hmm. So, like, presumably the bears would be pretty mad and be grown, be kind of grown small, like bred small and like malnourished. And that's why they don't grow as big. <laughs> like, kind of pygmy bears is kind of situation. Subsistence diet bears. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, I would think these guys would have good morale. They'd actually be pretty good fighters.、Mm-hmm. Uh, they wouldn't be as like, dumb or cowardly as、no. the goblins you usually run into. They're, they're much tougher. And I think you could, be, you could do some fun things with, like, if you found where these guys trained or their, their base or their you know, fort or whatever. Because the goblin, the bear trainer goblins would probably be very dumb and cowardly and be like, consistently being like, fed to the bears. Right? <laughs> like. The bear trainers. But then the, no one's going to want to be a trainer. Yeah. <laughs> If you keep feeding them. <laughs> That's goblin society, right? They're always like eating each other and killing each other and stuff. They are a little dysfunctional. <laughs> They're goblins. <laughs>、mm-hmm. So, yeah, being a goblin bear trainer, I don't think you'd find many bear trainer goblins that have all their fingers. Yeah, probably missing a couple of digits. <laughs> <laughs> But then these guys would be like the. the, the The pros. <laughs>、mm-hmm. They've been around the block a couple of times. Yeah. And so, yeah. And yeah. I was thinking that the bears are probably more, more threatening in combat. Like, if you almost like if you de rider the bear, they, they almost fight better separately. Because... That's a possibility, too. I mean, that's up to dungeon master discretion.、Sure. And are the bears actually tougher than the goblins? Or, obviously, the bears are not as armored as well. Yeah.、Um, and there's a possibility of adding armor to a bear.、Um, here they're just wearing a, a regular saddle, like something out of maybe like 17 or 1800s. Yeah.、And、they're、so. wearing like, a, like a, a tiger pelt, which is cool. Yes. They're wearing a tiger pelt saddle, which is、uh, consistent with the winged hussars. They、mm-hmm. did some of that stuff. Yeah, they did they quite could, a bit of that. They did a lot of hunting and like if they could catch something. Yeah. Usually、I、with something took, to kill them.、Um, there, there was a group of.、Um, Uh, models, little model kits of figurines that people had painted. And I got the costumes from that. And there w a s a couple of guys in Poland who did reconstruction,、yeah. like reenactments. And they got all dressed up and stuff and they're riding around like, man, these guys look great. And、um, so that's what I used as,、um, as my、uh, reference、that's、for、awesome. doing this painting. Yeah, I saw some of this armor in real life. Yeah, you photographed it when you, went to Pol-、uh, when you went to Poland. Yeah, I was in Warsaw. I was jealous again because Ben gets to go to cool places and I have to stay <laughs> home at work. <laughs> I was in Warsaw and we have, this, we have this dinosaur game on our phones, me and my wife. It's like Pokemon, but it's Jurassic Park. And、uh, we were chasing these dinosaurs around Warsaw, just trying to walk around and see the, the town. But like, we were like, oh, it's, there's something over here. We want to get a T Rex or whatever. So we walk over there and. It was like, this is the Polish National War Museum. And I was like, well, that's pretty cool. Can we go check this out? And they had all this stuff in there. Oh, man. They had this、cool. big area in the back that was just like, here's like, like every vehicle from World War II from yeah, both sides. Yeah, they had all the vehicles outside.、Yeah. You could,、mm-hmm. It was just outside. You could just walk. There were like, there were signs like, don't climb on them, but you could walk over and touch them and nobody、oh, cared. It was great. Kind of awesome. <laughs> It was really cool. <laughs> but they had a lot of like Soviet stuff and a lot of, you know, German World War II stuff,、mm-hmm. which was so cool. It was awesome. Yeah. But they had all of this stuff there. It was a huge display on it, and it was really cool to get to see it in real life. Yeah, I'm jealous. It's very unique style of armor. Yeah, it's completely different、uh, than from Eastern stuff or other European things.、Um, so, and that gives it that distinct look. And, and well, apparently, goblins like that look too. <laughs> so, we decided to put them together. And we think you guys are going to have a lot of fun with this. Yeah, definitely.、Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right.、So. Okay. Well, we're going to see you guys next time, okay?